everyone, it's Sherry Vegas here and in this tutorial today I'm going to show you how you can make your own massage candles. So you've probably seen in the stores those candles that once you light them the wax turns into warm massage oil and they are so expensive in Australia. I'm not sure about the rest of the world but some places sell them for like 60 to 80 dollars. I'm going to show you guys today how you can make it. This is just one recipe. There are multiple different recipes out there. So feel free if you do make these you can tweak the recipe to your personal preferences but this is one of my favorite candles to make and something that I use quite often. There are three main ingredients that I use when I make my massage candle. The first one is my wax. So I like to use 100% soy wax. You wanna go for 100% all natural wax, so you don't necessarily have to use soy, but this is the one that I generally prefer. And I'm gonna be measuring out equal parts of each ingredient. So this is 100 grams of my soy wax, and then I'm gonna be measuring out 100 grams of my oil. So I'm just adding that soy wax into my metal jug, which will be going on the heat and now I'm going to be measuring out 100 grams of oil. You can use whatever oil you like. I'm using coconut oil today. You could use olive oil, almond oil, avocado oil, whichever oil you like. Um, obviously, if you use coconut oil, it does have that sort of coconutty smell, which will then be in your massage candle. So if you don't like that smell or if you're allergic to coconut, then obviously switch up your oil, but you can use whatever oil you like. I like to add my wax and my oil oil onto my heat first to let that melt down while I prepare my next ingredient. And the last main ingredient that I'm going to be using today, which is 100 grams as well, is some shea butter. So you want to use a butter of some sort, so it could be a cocoa butter or a shea butter. If you do go for a cocoa butter, just note that it will have like that chocolatey smell unless you go and get the deodorized cocoa butter. So depending whether you want this candle to have a fragrance or not will depend on the type of oil you use and the type of butter you use. The reason why I'm not adding my shea butter on the heat at the same time as my wax and my oil is shea butter and coconut butters can be a little bit difficult when you are heating them up. They don't like to be overheated. So by adding them in once the wax and the oil has melted down together, it just means that they're going to have less time on the heat and you're not going to have that chance of overheating them. It's also another reason why the soy wax is a really good wax to use for this candle because soy wax doesn't like to get too hot either. So it's got a really low melting point compared to other waxes, which is perfect to work with the shea butter. Now this step is completely optional and it's whether you wanna add a scent to this candle. Today I'm using a lavender essential oil and I've measured out 10 grams. I'm now adding that into my mixture now that it's off the heat. And this mixture is sitting around 65 degrees before I do add my essential oil in. Now whatever fragrance you do decide to add in, you want to make sure that it is safe to burn and it's skin safe. So a lot of essential oils work really great for this. You also get that aromatherapy benefit that you wouldn't necessarily get if you were to use a synthetic oil. But as I said before, adding fragrance in or essential oils is completely optional. And if you do have more sensitive skin, it might be worth not adding those in because sometimes people can have issues with fragrance on their skin. And for obvious reasons, I'm not going to be coloring this candle with any candle dyes because this will be going on the skin. I always go a few sizes up with my wick to what I normally would do if I was just making a straight soy wax candle or you can do what I've done here and double wick your jar. The reason behind this is we want our wax to burn at a faster rate because normally with a soy wax candle, two to three hours to achieve a full melt pool is normally what we're looking for. But obviously with this, we don't wanna have to wait two to three hours to then use the massage candle. So you wanna have it burn at a faster rate than what you would normally have it. You're also gonna find your massage candles set a lot slower than just a straight wax candle. So this one takes about four to five hours for it to start to fully set. And then I like to leave it for a good few days before I do its first burn. So don't be worried if it does take a bit longer than what it normally does when you make other candles because it isn't just straight wax because you've got that shea butter and the oils that make it a little bit slower to set. So this one has set around five hours and I can trim my wick, but I need to wait a few more days before I can burn it. So this is one I've made previously and this has got olive oil in it. So you can see because it does have olive oil in it instead of coconut oil, it's a lot darker in appearance. 
And as I said at the start of the video, this is just one recipe. So feel free to play up with the different levels of your butter, your oil and your wax to get a recipe that you really like. But this is one of my favorites to make. And then I've just let this burn for about 10 minutes. I've blown out my flame and then it's completely fine to touch straight away. The wax will be nice and warm, but it won't burn you. It won't ever get hot enough to burn you. So you can use it pretty much straight away after you've blown it out. So if you have any questions about making massage candles or just candles in general, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will be happy to answer them. If you got some good information from this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps my channel. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget I do have a full playlist on candle making videos that can be very helpful if you are brand new into candle making. And don't forget to subscribe as I post new videos every single week. Thank you guys so much for watching.